Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing um, a bit of a nail polish. Not really a haul because they were already, they've been purchased for like years. And these are the nail polishes that my mom gave me uh, when I was down in Florida. So I've already filmed this video, but the first time I filmed it, my camera was really, really yellow. And I had no idea why. I know these lights are more on the warm side than the bright side, but so you couldn't really see the colors. And then of course I stopped filming and uh, it fixes itself. I don't look yellow anymore. So we're gonna try this again. So the first color is something you guys have already seen. It was in yesterday's little video and it was the spoilt steal the show color. And that's what it looks like. It's still not super easy to see on camera, but we're working on that. All right, and also I just wanna say that for the rest of these colors, I will be doing a blog post about them with photos in case I don't feel like they turn out so great on, on camera. So the next color I actually was having shipped to me um, on my way to Florida. Um, and it came, I think, just after I had left. And it's a julep nail polish. And I actually got this sort of as a gift from another YouTuber. So Ray from uh, Morena Barbie actually gave me a promo code before I left. So it's kind of like an early Christmas present to me from her. And it's a great color. It's called Vera. And for the longest time I thought it was Vern. I think maybe because I was torn between different colors. I'm not sure. But it's a great brown color. All right. Great color. I haven't tried it yet, but I'm hopeful. So the next thing I got was also not from Florida, but I got it the other day when I was getting my, my watch fixed. And it's the OPI Minis for the Touring America collection. So it's My Address is Hollywood, French Quarter for Your Thoughts, A Taupe the Space Needle, and Honk If You Love OPI. And I love all these colors. They're so pretty and I don't own anything like them. I was concerned, actually I woke up this morning being concerned that uh, a taupe the space needle might be the same color as the julep polish, but at initial glance the a taupe one actually looks a bit darker. So when I swatch them, because I haven't tried any of these colors on or most of them on for a while or if not ever, so I will clarify that later. Here's some of the more random kind of polishes that my mom had floating around. This one is from Paris Collection, no idea and it's called Virgo, and it's just a blue glitter. I'm not sure how solid the color base is itself or if it's something you toss over something else, but it's got silver sparkles in it, and it's just super, super sparkly. Uh, here's a Sally Hansen nail polish, which is super old. The packaging is def definitely different than what it is now, and it's called Chocolate Nut, and it's definitely a ready chocolate color, and it's got some gold shimmer shimmer but it looks really, really nice. The next one is Wet n Wild's Khaki, and it's also called 40, 422C, and that's what that looks like. It's a bronzy kind of color, more on the, uh, kind of more on the gray side to me, gray green, which is why it's called Khaki. So the next one is from Brunchy, Brunchy, I have no idea, I don't even, no, this thing still exists, but it's called Pink Lady, and it's a bright bubblegum pink. I mean bright. And this next one is from Misa. I've seen a couple of these polishes, but I have no idea where we, where we got them. But it's called Sunkissed, and it's not really a color I would call Sunkissed, but I didn't name it. It's purpley pink with a gold sheen to it. It's not sparkles, it's just definitely a sheen, but you can see that it still needs to be shaked a bit more to get a solid, get the color fixed up. This next one has absolutely nothing on it. I have no idea when she got it, where she got it, what it was once called, but I'm gonna call it blood because that's all it looks like to me. It's kind of, a, it's a deep red, but almost a purple color, and that's what that looks like. So I'm excited to see what that looks like on. Then we have another Sally Hansen. It's a nail prisms color. And this one I think is called Pink Pearl. And it's a yellowy pearl color versus like a white. And it's got some pink and some green and other kind of colors mixed into it. So you can kind of see some of them when you turn the bottle. But yeah, it looks really pretty. It'd be really pretty just 
you want something light but nothing too potent, that'd be a great color to choose. Um, Alright, I have a random New York color, which doesn't have a name on it. It's 124BS, <laughs> and it's just a really light blue. I'm not sure how well, this is like their old formula. Like This used to be mine and ended up in her box eons ago. Um, I don't remember this being a very um, good payoff, but I'm going to try and swatch some of these as time goes by, or if I do end up wearing them, I'll just do like a nail of the day kind of shot, either on my blog or on Twitter. So check out those. All the links will be down below. This next color is a CoverGirl, and it's one of their newer ones versus the one that I'm going to show you after this. And it's called Deep, sea, Deep Blue Sea 243, and it's a darker blue color, kind of a navy-ish with some silver sparkles in it. And it's pretty. Next one is the old school one. I have no idea when and where she got this one either, but it's called Snow Globe, which is very appropriate. Doesn't look like it's gonna have much, I don't think it's supposed to have any color payoff, just the sparkles, but it's got blue, purple, green, and they're just very, it's, it's super shiny. Like, look at that. Bam! Shimmer shimmer! And like the, the, the coat that's with it is kind of a, a yellowy clear, doesn't look, like a straight up clear coat with glitter, like the Christmas colored one I showed you from Gap in the other video, the stars, which is a clearly a clear polish with the glitter in it. All right, so the next couple are Avon, and this one's kind of a mauvey color. It's called Summer, no, Berry Burst, and it's kind of a light purple kind of color. I think it's very nice. It's definitely a work a work shade. If you work in an office, you don't want to have extremely bright nails. As is this one. This one's a peachy, peachy pink with a little bit of uh, shimmer. It's called Sunrise Sorbet. Don't mind my horribly chipped nails. And the last Avon one is Bronzess. Bronzess. Kind of an appropriate name. It's bronze. It needs to be shaken clearly, but very sheeny, and there's some sparkles in there, but it's a great color. Alright, so the next ones I'm going to show you are the brand Artistry. Um, I do not know where this retails, I don't know where most, well the Avon is obviously from Catalog, or if they have an online, CoverGirl you can get, Sally, Girl, Sally Hansen you can get, Wet n Wild you can get all at drugstores and stuff. But Artistry, I think, are more salon brand. I'm actually not sure. I've never seen them. I never saw her buy them. I just remember knowing about them. And I know she's makeup, brush, makeup brushes by Artistry as well. So this first color is called Soldier. And it's such a great color. It kind of reminds me of khaki. But I did do a little bit of swatches of them when I was deciding what I wanted to take from her collection before I realized that the whole collection was now mine. Um, and so there is a bit of a difference. This one is a little less... It's a little lighter, that's what it is. So that's what this one looks like. And then here's what it looks like beside the other one. So you can see it is much lighter. And this next one's called Mermaid. I love it, it's so pretty. And guess what? It's teal, chili turquoise. And it actually matches my, or it seems, it, from my memory, it reminds me of one of my liquid liners from MAC, or my only liquid liner from MAC. But I think that one's a little more on the green side of teal than this one is. Now this one's called Sherbert, and it's a bright orange, but it has a gold sheen to it. Gold, goldish yellow. It's a great color. So, so pretty. And then the last one from Artistry is a really interesting and kind of strange color. Um, at first I want to call it a chocolate brown. But if you put it beside chocolate nut, which I said is more on the red side, this is more on like a purpley side, if that makes any sense. And this is what it looks like. And then you see, this is what it looks like next to that one. So you can see this one's much more, it looks much more chocolatey and much more red as compared to this. So if you guys have any other brown color names that you want to throw out with me, throw out, throw at me that match this, let me know, because I really don't have any clue. And now, my favorite part of what my little gift was to me um, is my mom's OPI collection, or like the ones that she still had. Uh, there's 
eight of them, so it's eight dollars worth of nail polish just in these, and I was so excited because you guys know I don't spend a lot of money on nail polishes because I don't have the money to spend on nail polishes. I have more important things to um, spend the money on. Sorry. First one is called Kyoto Pearl, and I love this color so much. It makes me think of weddings. I don't know why, but it does. Uh, but I think this would be really pretty as a French tip if you're going to do some other color with it like I did with my nails here with the gold striper. So this is like the definition of pearl. Like this is a real pearl to me. This next color is called bubble bath. It's a really, really light pink. And this is another color um, that I think is like office appropriate. Not that I really care because I'm going to wear bright nails as long as I can. But it's a really, really fair, fair pink. And just to show how pale it is, I will show you guys Pink Lady beside it, which is a bright bubblegum pink. Definitely looks much, much more muted. This next one's called Polar Bear, as in like bear naked. And this was part of the Canada collection. I'm not sure what its official name was, uh, but I have another color from it that makes me laugh, and you guys will hopefully get the joke. But this one's definitely a neutral kind of pink, nudie, nudie color. It's really pretty. And this one had something spill on it. And there's another polish that something kind of erupted in her nail polish bin. But uh, it's not affecting me. I'm going to try and take it off, but it doesn't bother me. Then this next one is a great pink. And I'm not big on pinks. It's called Strawberry Margarita. And it's such a potent, beautiful pink. So, so pretty. And then this one's more of a purple, but I've classified it with the pinks. And it's my Auntie Drinks Chianti. And honestly, this nail polish is probably the most used out of all of these ones and probably out of all of her polishes. We've had this one for so, so long. And like, it's so much lighter than everything else. Like when you pick it up, you just know this has had some, it's fair share of love. And this is the one that got loved on by something else. So it's a great purple berry color. Now this orange, is called Osaka to me orange and it's a solid orange as compared to the sunrise or the sherbet which is more of the sheeny has some gold in it this one's straight up orange and you know me I love my orange so this one's definitely gonna get some abuse when I want spring to come or in summertime and this next one's a corally kind of color and it's called Cajun shrimp and I love it Looking a little bit more orange on here than it does in person, but when you put it next to the orange, it definitely looks more corally. And the last and final one is nice color A. <laughs> we don't always say A, and I hear Americans say A all the time, but that's okay. Anyway, so it's a really nice red sheen polish. And there's another dimension to it, and it's not silver, and it's not gold, it's kind of a bronzy kind of color, I have no idea. But I can, you can see veins of it in here when you haven't shaken it for a while. But it's so pretty. And that's it for those. Uh, let me know what colors you guys are loving right now, or what you have on your fingers and toes. And the blog post will be up today or tomorrow. Talk to you guys in the next video. See ya.